Kicks 105.5, a great day to you. I'm Sean Knight. That's very disturbing. It's time for Good Policies with Mike Bear from Barrett Insurance Agency, as we do 10 to 8 every Wednesday. And, Mike, you just showed me a talent that makes me love and respect you even more. Oh, you, goodness. What was that? You do a banging Kermit the Frog. Oh, Mike, Kermit the Frog. Ah. Hello, Piggy. Ah. My son likes it when I do the Kermit voice for him. <laughs> It ain't easy being green. Oh, my goodness. You didn't know that? Oh, yeah. Well, I did it not was, know it was that. inspired by the fact that in the 90s, I think most country singers were uh, thinking of Kermit when they were doing their songs. Well, like, you had Clint Black. Yeah. You were actually mimicking his lyrics as Kermit and had me in tears. But, <laughs> so, yeah, no, I, I thank you well, for that. Well, thank you for, <laughs> for the kind words, Sean Knight. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's get down to business. Ethan loves Kermit. Oh my goodness! How is Ethan doing? He's grown like a weed. It seems like every time I see he's him, he's taller than I am now. <laughs> Drop it! Drop it! Oh my goodness! I'm sorry. <sighs> so, uh, my first question for you was uh, paying for a problem ahead of time and then getting reimbursed. If you get into like a car accident uh-huh. and you need to go get yourself a rental car and your insurance company is a little lagging and you have to just go do it yourself, uh, is it better that you wait mm-hmm. and they cover it? Mm-hmm. Or yes, go ahead, explain. So yeah, uh, remember with insurance, it is a contract and with a contract lies in it uh, kind of an order of business. Okay. And so you you know, it's not like you can go, well, this is a quick di- you know dent. I'm just going to go take it to my friend and have it fixed and we'll just build the insurance company. It doesn't work that way. Um, as much as people think it could, as much as the new technology of, hey, just take a picture of the damage of your car and voila, uh, it doesn't work that way. There is a process. Uh, you know, you remember there's big data out there, so companies can fairly easily understand what it's going to cost to repair your vehicle. Right. Uh, so they're going to go through the process of an appraisal, whether it be internal or external, meaning they either don't or do come to you. Um, but if you go and get a rental car before a claim has even been assigned or authorized, you're kind of taking a chance of not getting a reimbursement for the time that you have it before the insurance company kicks in. So uh, it's it's a process always, you know, and I'm a, I'm a licensed insurance agent. And when you have a claim, you work with a licensed insurance adjuster. So these people, that is their one charge is to make sure that the process is following the course that it should and, and that you, they're taking care of your needs. I'm still there to help. Being local, right. Yeah. You're, you're that liaison. You're that comfort blanket for me. Exactly. It's going to be okay. And you're going to help me. Talk and, to that adjuster. Yeah, and if there's times that, and believe me, this has happened. If an adjuster or if the process is going less than unfair, the insurance uh, uh, that the client calls and says, "Look, I just don't understand this, or I don't like this, or what can we do?" I absolutely pick up the call and call the supervisor or the claims adjuster, whomever. Um, and do and you have some the adjuster process. BFFs, or for the most part? The adjuster is kind of like me and management. We don't mix. So it depends on the companies. With with one company in particular, Cooperative Insurance, we've represented them for so many years uh, that we know many of their claims adjusters very well. Um, so, we, you know, we've seen them at events and things like that. So we're friendly with them. So uh, they're kind of a point of reference or a contact for me if I have a question or whatever. With the bigger companies, no, no, I don't really have a BFF. And I, I kind of take it that that's a good thing because uh, if I have a BFF in the claims department, that means I'm talking to claims too much. And you know it might seem to the person who has you as their uh, insurance agent that maybe you're not in my best interest. Maybe you're right. siding with your buddy. Over right. There, well, so. you know, we do represent the company, but I also take a very strong stance that we represent fairness. And if we find that fairness is not going the way that it should in the interest of the insured, we will definitely call and have a dialogue. We don't always win, but sometimes we help uncover things that maybe the claims adjuster didn't realize. If I get into a ding, it's 2020. I get into a ding today. Uh-huh. Um, I've had a ding in years past and at that time, uh, paid the deductible. I get a ding today. I pay my deductible. Now, if I get another ding like next month, is my deductible already paid? No. Or there's, how does that work? Deductible for property and casualty insurance is per occurrence. So I had one person who had, uh, two accidents in the same day. <laughs> And it, the, the deductible applied to both instances. And that's instances. my daughter, Chelsea. <laughs> Hi, hey. hey! Oh, but that, so a deductible applies per occurrence. So 
Uh, if you have multiple events causing damage or injury, it's yeah, but let's see. A lot of people have this misconception that a deductible applies to liability. So if you hit someone else's car and no damage to yours, or if you hit someone someone's car and there is damage to yours, yeah, you have a deductible for your physical damage coverage because you selected that. But you do not have a deductible for the liability portion that will indemnify the other party. Very interesting. Yes. If you'd like to find out more about this topic or would like to have your insurance reviewed by Mike, you can call Barrett Insurance Agency at just. Give us a call. Uh, that wasn't as good. Sorry. Uh, 748-5224. Visit us on Portland Street in St. Johnsbury. Uh, we're online, thebarrettagency.com. Google, Facebook, and YouTube is all Barrett Insurance Agency. We'll see you next Wednesday for another episode of Pigs <laughs>